This is a virtual reality headset that's used in conjunction with a smartphone. Smartphone goes right in there. This is a, one of the better ones. This smartphone headset is branded uh, the Vision VR by Amerisound. Uh, but this, this exact headset is sold under many different brand names. Two of the more popular brand names that this is sold under include Bobo VR and Luffy, that's L-U-P-H-I-E. So this thing is really widely sold. Now, I believe it comes from a company called Ancux, A-N-K-U-X. I think they're the original manufacturer. And they're located in Shenzhen, China. And I guess they just sell them to whoever wants them and they stick their own brand names on them. Okay, so if you have any of those brand names, you could have the same problem I do, so this video may be for you. So, Okay, so one of the nice things about this headset is it's got speakers. These adjustable speakers built in, and they connect to your smartphone through this built-in 3.5 millimeter jack. That's very nice. But as you can see, one of these speakers has broken loose. This, unfortunately, is a real weak spot in the design. This sidearm is held on only by these four tiny little screws, and it doesn't take a lot to rip them through the plastic that's anchoring them. And in order to make use of this thing, I'm going to have to figure out a way to reattach this thing. And that's what this video is all about. I can't believe I'm the only person with a broken sidearm, so if I can fix this thing, maybe you can too. We're going to take this thing apart so that we can work on it. We're going to start by removing this padding here, and this comes off pretty easily. It's just held on by these little hooks, little plastic clips. So these little hooks here plug into these little spots right there. Okay, so that comes off. That gives us a little more room to work. Next, we have these four screws. One, two, three, and four. Very tiny little screws that are kind of holding the front onto the back. Now, I, what I do is I keep these little pill jars around to hold on to these tiny little screws. If these things fall into your carpet or something, you're going to have a heck of a time finding them. So we'll just go ahead and remove all those. Okay, we've got those out. Now, with those screws removed, we should be able to pull the front off the back. And there it is. These little knobs here actually push the whole device backward away from your screen in order this is how it focuses. This wheel controls the distance of the lenses. In order to get this piece off, I have to get this piece off. Careful not to break anything. Those things are these things are really a kind of a tight press fit here. All right, good. That piece is off. Now we can remove this piece. Hold on by these four tabs. And now we expose this area where this broke out. We have these four screws here, and they went right in here. Now this gray material here is from a previous repair that I attempted. This is an epoxy material. Now my, my plan here is to drill a hole through this metal piece here and run a screw through here, a bolt rather, and then put a nut on the other side to hold it. And that should strengthen this thing considerably. I've already made a little punch mark right in the center there to help hold the drill bit. I've gone ahead and drilled a hole through the center of this metal piece and a corresponding hole through the plastic. Now I can take a bolt and put it through here and here and hold this whole thing together. I will put a nut on the inside to hold that screw in place. This bolt will be many times stronger than these tiny little screws. Okay, here it is with the new bolt running through there. 
and on the inside you can maybe see the nut holding it in place. Okay, we have our new bolt running through that uh, metal arm and it's anchored with a nut on the inside so this is way way stronger than it was before. I've kept these four other screws in there mostly just to keep this thing from moving laterally but uh, this is what's providing the strength to keep this thing from breaking off again. I've gone ahead and put the back and the front together and I'm going ahead and put these four screws back in. We can then cover up the uh, side arm with this plastic cover. Snaps right in. And then we can put our adjuster knob back in. There we are. And we put our cushion back on the back. And we have a, a completed repair. Good as new. Now you'll notice there's also a hole cut here in the nose section. That was part of a different repair. I've gone ahead and I've tried this with the repaired speaker. It works good. I've got sound coming through both directly into my ears. And so we've restored this thing to full working order. Okay, so. If you have any of the headsets, which we named earlier, these uh, sidearms are held on with just four tiny little screws. You can rip out of the plastic easily. Uh, I can't believe I'm the only person that this has happened to. I'm sure, given the weakness of the design, it's happened to other people. So this video shows you, you can fix it. You know, you can just put a, just a bigger bolt through there, which is going to hold this thing together. All you need is a is a drill and a bolt and a nut and you you can do this job okay that's it